Okay, let us continue. So, interior. A point, let's say, it's, let's call it the int of A. For A is a subset of M. And the interior of A is equal to the set of all point X in the set of A such that, <coughs> so you know it's gonna be a subset already, uh, a proper subset. Well, not proper. If it's open, it's gonna be, oh, uh, forget the proper, it's gonna be a subset. Maybe equal to itself. I'll pro probably prove that. Time. So, all x in the set of A, such that you can build a d, x, comma, epsilon. <coughs> and there exists this epsilon greater than zero, such that the d, x, comma, epsilon is a subset, or is it contained in A? That's the interior. So if you thought of something close, well, it's not necessarily necessary, but some example, if it was close like this, it would just be the open version of this. Remember, we have some weird things when we're dealing with sets. For example, a point. What is a point? Is it open or is it closed? Point is closed. A union of infinitely many points. For example, the sequence xn equals the sequence of 1 over n for n in the set of z plus. This here is closed. The reason why it's closed, oh, before I should, I should go into some laws, some propositions beforehand. Let's see. So, well, first I'll define closure. Closure. The closure. So closure, let's denote it CL of A. A is a subset of M is equal to the union, well, no, intersection of all closed sets containing A. So, intersection of B, where B, where A, subset of B, B is closed. Now there's much easier definitions than this for closure. And we can probably show, we can definitely show equivalences between this definition and a definition, for example, X is in the set of the closure of A, if intersection of x the ball delta x if there exists for actually if for any epsilon greater than zero <coughs> the intersection between d of x comma epsilon and the set a does not equal the empty set that's intuitive but you more remember intuition not a proof must prove definition Straightforward. That's closure. Well, let's see. Lastly. Okay. Lastly. I'm just gonna put on two prop two big propositions. I'll prove them next time. I know I already owe you a completeness proof. But I'm an old man. I, I should. I, I, I need time to reread the proof over and over again so I can prove it up here without looking down there. So, quick proposition. <coughs> About the closed sets. Well, let's do open first. <coughs> I'll save this for next time. Yes, the people outside, they're very annoying. Uh, 
Saturday night's worst part. People in the dorm, dorm, they're drunk. And especially tonight, first time our team actually won a game. I think next time I'll prove the proposition about open sets and the union of open sets. And same thing with clothes. Because they're essentially the same thing, except one proposition is the complement of the other. So I think I'll do that next time. Well, Ninja, signing off. Thank you.